Welcome to Ask the Lawyer radio podcast with attorney Brian Figaro of the law firm Figaro and Associates. This podcast features a recording of our most recent radio show. We hope you enjoy the show, which features news, views, and interviews on matters such as immigration, personal injury, bankruptcy, divorce, family law, estate planning, wills and probate, deed transfers, civil rights, criminal defense, workers' compensation, and taxes, both individual and business. You can contact us at 855-768-8845 or visit us at www.askthelawyer.us. You have questions? We've got the answers. Good day, good day, good day. My name is Brian Figaro of the law firm Figaro & Associates. This is Ask the Lawyer. You got questions, we got answers. The number to call, the number to keep, the number to share is 855-768-8845. Again, 855-768-8845. The law firm of Figaro & Associates has been in the city of New York, state of New York, yes, and it has been a quarter century. And what does that quarter century mean? Well, over this long period of time, one of the ob observations made was the number of predators that we have in our community. So whether it be the Caribbean, African, Latin American, various immigrant communities, who are those predators? Who are those predators preying on women in our community that may be undocumented? And these predators have been many, and they have impacted thousands of women from the Caribbean Africa, Latin America, in unimaginable ways. So when someone comes to the United States of America, they have very few options. That's based on how the immigration law has been obviously legislated for decades. It means whether a male or a female, when they come to the United States of America, if they do not have a child 21 years or older, a U.S. citizen who could petition for them, they need to be married to a U.S. citizen. What if they are married already? What if they came to the U.S. and they fell in love with a married man? What if they came to the U.S. and they fell in love with someone who was single that refuses to marry them? What is the mindset of these women in these situations that make them obviously more vulnerable to people like Ali Louison, lawyers and others, who will convince them that there is an alternative path to legalization? So instead of dealing with that emotional issue of being involved with a married man or a single man who does not want to get married to them in order for them to legalize and there is quote-unquote true love, what goes into that woman's decision to remain in that prolonged relationship and then be vulnerable to fraud to the predators who exist out there? What is their mental state? What is their state from a monetary perspective? What is their state of mind in terms of religion, in terms of, obviously, again, love, you know? What is their mindset where they would delay or remain in a relationship that obviously has no benefit to them from a legalization perspective. And is that all that women think about, obviously, when in a relationship? 
My name is Brian Figaro of the law firm Figaro & Associates. This is Ask the Lawyer. You got questions, we got answers. The number to call, the number to keep, the number to share is 855-768-8845. Again, 855-768-8845. So Ali Louison, a U.S. citizen, from Grenada committed fraud with thousands of people in Brooklyn, New York. They were from all over the world. They were, some of them were white. And when people went to Mr. Louison, he promised them a work permit, a social, and a travel document so they could see long lost families back home, the children that they lived left their, their loved ones, and he processed documents without signing it as a lawyer or as a paralegal, and he made up terrible stories, stories of abuse that were untrue, even for the simple person who doesn't understand immigration law or VAWA, the Violence Against Women's Act of 1994 that President Biden actually brought into law decades ago. Thank you, Mr. Biden. So, <clears throat> so people have to make decisions. People are desperate. And that desperation is why a lot of these people end up in deportation proceedings or may never be able to legalize in America or may have to end up going back to their home countries and lose monies that they might have accumulated in any pension plans or what have you, because in order to get those benefits, you must be a green card holder or a U.S. citizen. So what we have to do, obviously, how do we protect these people? And the law firm of Figuring Associates, myself, we have, obviously, our various publications, the Immigrants Journal, which is over 25 years, Caribbean American Weekly, Workers' World Today, New Black Voices, where we publish uh, articles about who are, you know, people, lawyers, non-lawyers, are exploiting women and others in our community. In fact, one of the attorneys that we wrote a story on in Caribbean American Weekly, he sued us for money, but he got nothing. He's now disbarred. He's from Africa, a gentleman who obviously, like many, many of the other predators, enrich themselves and maybe send those monies overseas, whatever. And it could be in the hundreds of thousands or millions of dollars when they have uh, so many victims people who pay their life savings so that they could legalize in the United States of America. So are these victims victims? Yes. That's what predators do. Where does a lion hunt when they want to get meat to eat? Who are the ones that they choose? The weaker zebra, the weaker deer, the limping dogs, whatever lions eat. Similarly, when human beings prey as predators on other human beings, they look for weaknesses. The law firm of Figure and Associates, we address those issues. We have a special article on our website, Ask the Lawyer, that you could read the story about how our people are sometimes the victims of predators. My name is Brian Figaro of the law firm Figaro & Associates. This is Ask the Lawyer. You got questions, we got answers. The number to call, the number to keep, the number to share is 855-768-8845. Again, 855 768 8845. Our website 
where you could schedule an appointment, access this article, is at www.askthelawyer.us. Again, www.askthelawyer.us. If you are listening to this program in the Caribbean or Africa or Latin America, because we broadcast overseas also, talk to your family, call them, especially if they're in New York City, obviously, that the law firm of Figueroa and Associates will work with them to get justice or to legalize themselves correctly here in the United States of America. Again, our website, www.askthelawyer.us, www.askthelawyer.us. Thank you. Do you have a legal issue, question, or concern? Turn to Ask the Lawyer. You have questions? We've got answers. For a consultation or to refer a client, visit www.askthelawyer.us. Again, www.askthelawyer.us. You can also register for our paralegal program, get legal news, business consults, or other information on educational issues. Yes, ask the lawyer. You have questions? We've got answers. For a consultation or to refer a client, visit www.askthelawyer.us. Again, www.askthelawyer.us.